G'day guys, Tim from Redback Lasers and welcome back to the Outside Shed. We're just going to dial a grade in this DGL 1010GM dial a grade laser and show you how that works. It actually operates the same with the DGL 1010VS, uh, which is actually identical laser to the GM, except the GM has that millimetre receiver with that auto grade tracking function. Also the DGL 2510 uh, Q operates in the same manner except that then goes to a 25% grade in the Y axis. So if we have a look at that laser, first of all if we power it on, the laser is going to level itself but we don't need for it to level itself to begin this process. We're going to set a 5% grade in the X as a positive grade and a negative 5% grade in the Y. So that's a plus Y there. We're going to go against that with a negative. So if we press and hold the X, then toggle across to the point just before the zero and toggle up to 5%. Press and hold the Y, toggle down to a negative grade, toggle across to the second zero and again up to 5. If we leave that laser, it's going to activate. We'll hear a beep, there we go. And now it's going to dial off that laser and we'll see it fall up in the X and down in the Y. And just bear in mind, whatever we've done there on the um, control panel of the laser, we can do off the remote control, um, again through the X and toggling up and down. So if we wait for that laser to um, set those grades, we can have a look at the head, how it's curled over to set the grades, and it begins to rotate. So now we have that positive 5% grade on the X and a negative 5% grade on the Y. So we can grab our receiver on our staff, set that to our datum height and get to work. So as you can see it's fairly simple to dial off a grade on any of those dialer grade lasers. What does become more complicated is when we're coming back to the same site day after day and working off that same grade all the time. So it becomes fairly important or imperative really that we set up that laser identical each day. It's for that reason that we have the grade alignment scope that comes with those lasers and that magnetizes on the y-axis so that we can scan off a grade and we also have the grade dial plate so I'm just going to quickly add that to the bottom of that laser so if we take that off and screw that onto there and then reattach our laser. That allows us to rotate our laser on our tripod and then with the fine tune adjustment, fine tune left or right. So what you would normally do is have a, uh, have a stake in the ground underneath your tripod and sight that off through your tripod when you set your tripod up each day. Then we would have another stake set up and the further away that that stake set, um, the more accurate you're going to set that. So we'll get a stake and ram that into the ground. And again, that's going to remain a fixture on your site until you're finished using that laser. We're going to cheat here, and I'm just going to set up my uh, staff into my vise there, and I'm going to align up to that. So coming back to the laser, this will actually move up and down, so we can sight our side up and down a peg. And we're just going to send there's a crosshair like an optical level in the centre there. I'm going to set, line that up with the centre of our staff so I can just fine tune adjust. So I've got the crosshair there lined up with the centre of my staff and then I'm going to lock in. That means I've set my laser up the same every day I come back to this job. Then when I dial in my laser or dial in my grade, the grade's going to be the same as what I was working on yesterday. But anyway, as you can see, you need a grade laser or a dialer grade laser, you better buy a red back. If you like these videos, please subscribe.